Okay, this next read is for Debbie. Uh, Debbie asked, uh, said, Hi Rob, I appreciate reading. Uh, the problem I'm having is do I follow my heart or my head? My heart is telling me to move on, but my head is telling me to stay where I am. Please, can you help me? Um, Debbie, I did a, um, a, a spread, a decision spread, and with it, uh, there's two sections. One uh, explores moving on or making a change, and the other is staying with the status quo. And the, the three that uh, regulate the, uh, or that show the, the, the situation that you're in and, and the possible outcomes, um, drew the Two of Pentacles. Uh, the Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups. So, you know, as far as moving on, um, it looks like that would be a good thing primarily because it's it's showing that there's, you know, it, it, it could be a bit hectic with the, uh, the Two of Pentacles. It's, you know, there's a lot of action um, that could be required of you. Uh, as you're moving on, but it looks like, you know, these two cards, you know, rounding it off, it, it does look like that there will be um, equal partnerships for you moving on, uh, you know, very good and, and rewarding ones. Uh, so it's, um, it looks to me like that would be a good way to go as you asked about following your heart. Now. If you maintain the status quo, the three cards that were drawn was the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and Six of Cups. And, you know, it, it's interesting that they came up like this because, you know, this is very slow progress. Um, you know, although there's going to be direction, but there's also an element of nostalgia. In other words, it's you know I get the feel of this. It's like your your, your wheels are turning, but uh, nothing seems to be uh, going forward. He's kind of a spinning your wheels kind of situation. Uh, it just doesn't look to me like there's going to be a whole lot of change. Um, so it it came out fairly intelligently in the context of your questions, maintaining the status quo. Things are going to be slow to move, but moving on, there's going to be, you know, things are going to get mixed up a little bit. Now, the next card for each situation is uh, the general outcome, and you do the King of Swords for moving on, which is about authority, and, you know, I get the sense that um, you're going to gain an authority by moving on. You're going to become more authoritative uh, through the experience of moving on. There's going to be lessons for you, but there's also, what's great about this card is, um, you can see it on there, the emblem on his chest is a butterfly, and the emblem on the throne that he's on uh, are also butterflies. So, a, you know, butterfly is about transformation. So, once again, this is telling me that there's going to be, you know, moving on is going to be good because there's going to be growth and transformation for you. Now, the card for maintaining the status quo was the Knight of Cups, which, you know, normally I, I like this card, but I have to look at it in the context of the, the cards it's grouped with um, that show slow progress. You know, it's kind of like um, the, the feel of this isn't, you know, the, the knight coming in on sh in shiny armor as much as Considering where it exists in the spread, it's it's more like um, playing it safe, staying in your comfort zone, um, you know, not wanting to break out of a routine because that's where you're comfortable. And you know, the the card itself doesn't necessarily represent that that specifically. It's just that what this card represents in this spread in that space, this is what it feels like to me. Uh, and and so, it, you know, it, it seems to me that staying put, staying with the status quo because that's where you're comfortable, you know, with, with the, 
you know, with the other three cards that, that are grouped with it, um, that's, that might not be uh, what you're really wanting. But ultimately, the choice is yours. You know, you can have the, the, the transformation, you know, or the security. And the last card in this is what you need to know before you make a decision. Um, and Drew, Four Swords. This is about healing, it's about rest. Um, so, what this is saying is you don't have to you make a decision this red hot instant. You can take your time with it, you can relax a little bit, uh, make sure that that if you move on or not, that you are secure with your decision and it's thought out. It's not something that you're doing, you know, on a, you know, a knee-jerk reaction. You have time to rest a little bit. As a matter of fact, I think that what this card is really telling us isn't just that you have time, but that you should take the time to, to consider it. Take the time to make sure that you're, you're, you're making this decision from a place where you, you're healed, where you already have, uh, have done the work on yourself to heal, rather than expecting this decision to be the change that heals you, okay? This way, you're making a, a decision that's based in uh, th th that's based on knowledge rather than reacting. It's like a friend of mine once said that you know you can some people act and some people react, and so the the four swords is saying take the time so that the decision you make is one where you are acting on your situation rather than reacting to it and uh, I think that um, I think that it's been a pretty good read um, I hope this one empowers you to make a little clearer decision it, it, it looks you know I can't tell you what to decide but it definitely looks like the cards are favoring one over the other so uh, let me know how it works out and bless you